Hey, this is Brent Hasecker, website consultant with NetSource Technologies. And once again, I'm here with Veronica Buell, Hi. who is our social media expert here at NetSource. And we're doing our fourth installment on our social media marketing series. And this week, we're going to talk about Twitter. Twitter. And Twitter is a neat little service. Mm -hmm. I, I actually will admit I was kind of a power user of Twitter <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. Um, kind of one of the early adapters, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. I set up my account in 2008. Yeah, I think I did the same thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Had a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. uh, used it for a number of years, but ask me how many times I've used it this year. How many times have you used it this Maybe year? Maybe once. <laughs> so I've kind Similar. of, yeah, I've kind of strayed away a little bit from Twitter. Um, not that it's a bad service. It's just, there's so many services out there. Facebook tends to be more easier to use and yeah. socialize on where Twitter, um, it's a little different. And that's yeah. what we're going to talk about today and kind of talk to you about what's the, what's the good way to use Twitter for business. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're talking about you know, my Twitter accounts for personal, right. um, but how can you use it for business to make it work for you? And what are the, the best, I guess, methodologies and all, all what's available with Twitter to, to be able to market right, with, right. Uh, with that service? So, so. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, our first question, of course, is who should use Twitter for marketing? Well, as far as that's concerned, it's, it's pretty similar to Facebook. Generally, business to consumer and business to business all do, you know, can do well mm -hmm. there. Okay. Um, but it, it takes a little more effort on Twitter than, right. than right. Facebook. So. What are some of the demographics, the kind of the breakdown? We kind of do that every time with yeah. some services. And so what's a good breakdown of, of Twitter's demographics? Well, Twitter has a, a younger um, user base than Facebook or um, LinkedIn, especially LinkedIn. LinkedIn has mm -hmm. a... Um, a little bit older, as a little we found bit older, out. yeah. 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 Um, the um, target age here is between eighteen and twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. um, that goes both men and women. It's not set towards any one. Like okay. Instagram tend to bend a little bit more towards right. women, but this is a kind of roughly evenly. in the middle. Okay. Yeah, and um, basically, uh, seventy-four percent of uh, Twitter users um, use it to follow a business that they that they like or one that they're researching. Okay. So um, it's a good good thing to know is that's that's what they're looking for right um and another statistic 66 percent of twitter users um say that they have discovered a new a small or medium-sized business um but just by using the platform mm -hmm. so if you're you're looking to get new followers new you know people it, it might be a good place to at least get their attention okay okay and again these are younger people that are using yes. 18 to 29 which may it, be a reason why I'm using it less <laughs> as I get older because yeah. maybe I'm just not falling into their demographic. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you're definitely trying to to reach that younger millennial market, market, uh, Twitter's another good service that mm -hmm. you can consider. Or just if you've got a an interesting product line that's always putting right. out some interesting news and product updates, then it could be a, a service for exactly. you to to be able to to post to. Um, well, tell us a little bit more about. Um, you know, how it compares to Facebook. Actually, we kind of just did that. Mm -hmm. um, actually, yeah, on the, uh, the, the, the amounts, uh, you'd said 50,000 or so more a year, 60% uh, of Twitter users, you know, so they've got pretty good income. They're, yes, they do. Even though a lot of the audience may be millennials, it's not necessarily poor, broke millennials. It's no, the people it, with some financial yeah. authority to be able to make some purchases. It's it's a good variety of people. Of course, you're going to find a lot of younger people that mm -hmm. are, you know, tweeting what they had to eat and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, for the most part, the, the average um, income um, is 50000 or okay. more a year. So these are probably millennials or um, entrepreneur, you know, new mm -hmm. entrepreneurs that are doing quite well, um, okay. fairly well, or businessy type people. Okay. Um, so they, just because they're younger doesn't mean that they don't have the money to right. invest in your products or services. So. Okay. Okay. And so um, we've mentioned that they're using a lot for getting product information, mm -hmm. um, but I know Twitter is a good tool for customer service. Yes. How can you explain a little bit about that? Well, whereas um, one of the differences between um, Facebook and Twitter is that on Facebook, people are um, engaging a lot more deeply um, mm -hmm. more one-to-one. -one. Twitter people tend, tend to go there uh, more for um, gathering information on a product or mm -hmm. a company or a service um, 
or even just news. Um, they also, one of the interesting things that I, when I researched, found out is that mm -hmm. a lot of people are using Twitter for customer service, meaning they may not be interacting directly with the company mm -hmm. um, about this and that, but if they have a problem that needs to be solved, mm -hmm. many of them are going to Twitter to um, contact them and businesses are replying fairly quickly. So it's become a very big customer service tool. Mm -hmm. um, so on face on, I mean, on, on Twitter, um, they're not engaging with, with the companies as much, mm -hmm. but they are using it. They will engage if they have an issue or have something issue. That, or something that they need to know. So they're watching for the product information updates mm -hmm. and then they're engaging when they have a problem. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So Which, it's a good place if you're a business uh, or entrepreneur and you want to, um, you want to make sure that you're replying to, you know, anybody that's sending messages mm -hmm. to you because most likely they're, they've got a question right. for you about right. your services right. or a problem that you need right. to resolve. And the uh, Twitter being that it's such, you know, it's dealing with small posts. You're not, mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of characters yeah. to work with. I know they've, ex they've expanded that lately. Yeah. Um, but still your, your, the goal is to keep things down to a, a certain uh, yes. abbreviated form there yes. so that um, it, it, it does allow for quick communication mm -hmm. because uh, you don't have somebody posting a, a novel long yes. a complaint that they have to your customer yes. service. They're just quickly stating what the issue is, and it's able to get taken care of a little bit quicker exactly. without a lot of research by the uh, customer service. Yes, reps. you have to be very um, concise mm -hmm. on on Twitter. I think it used to be only had 140 characters. Now mm -hmm. I think it's 230 now. I can't it's, remember the exact number I think it it's is right now. The 230, yeah. 240, yeah. somewhere around there, but it, it's still. Not kind of, a lot. It was of kind room. of fun when it was 140 because it was like a challenge. It was like a, it was exactly little, it was like a puzzle. challenge, <laughs> and you were always kind of editing your yeah. post to get it down to that perfect yeah. amount. It's kind of like a crossword puzzle. It's like what can yeah. I fit in here? Sometimes just posting to 140 characters took longer than if you had unlimited space exactly. because you had to spend so much time whittling it down. Yeah. But it helped whittle it down to the most important work. Exactly. So there you go. That's its power. Is that That's you can its power. if you can be uh -huh. very concise, you'll have a you know, a good message to right. get across. Great. Okay, so what are some of the marketing tools and techniques that you can use on Twitter? Okay, well, they have, on um, like every other social media product, they have um, ads. Mm -hmm. They have three types of ads. Um, they have promoted tweets, promoted accounts, and promoted trends. Okay. And briefly, just to let you know what each one means, uh, promoted tweet is just a regular tweet that you put out there that mm -hmm. you've decided you want to promote mm -hmm. and it will get to when you promote it, it goes into the feed of people who aren't following you. Okay. So that hopefully you'll attract some more people to follow you. Okay. Um, a promoted account is the same type of thing, except instead of promoting one specific tweet, you're promoting your account, your business account, mm -hmm. or even your personal account, but you're promoting your business account. And those, those show up not only in people's feeds that aren't following you, mm -hmm. but it also shows up on the sidebar mm -hmm. in Twitter. And if you f have it on your phone, it will show up at the top, like other services or okay. companies you might be interested in. Okay. So they'll show up at the top. And uh, promoted trends is the hashtag thing, mm -hmm. the uh, sharp sign and music things, um, or the, uh, what is that, the... The uh, number sign. The number sign. I always yeah. want to say pound. Yeah. Um, well, you could, yeah. Yeah, it is the pound, yeah. too, yeah. yeah. Um, that's uh, when you promote a trend, like, you know, Nikes, they do the, the pound sign, mm -hmm. just do it. That's That was one of their campaigns, and it's still, everybody knows it now, everybody because knows. they they did it everywhere, and if you go on to Nike right now, you'll see the hashtag, just do it. Mm -hmm. um, that of things if you've got a little hashtag trend thing that you want to catch on mm -hmm. you'll promote that and this way it's put in front of people people start picking up on it and then more people okay so it's like creating some sort of viral right right so it's a, in a lot of ways it's kind of similar to what you can do on facebook yes. with their promoted stuff yes. is it as easy to use as facebook's promoted stuff i don't find it as easy to use right. as so. facebook facebook is a lot more um 
is, is a lot less challenging. Um, it's not undoable in, uh, or it's not, that's a terrible word. Um, it's, it, it can be done on Twitter, mm -hmm. it is being done. Um, it's just a little bit more challenging, a little bit harder to do. Um, I think they got the layout worked out as nicely as, as yes, Facebook. Yes, Facebook has it out. down. They've had yeah. a long time to yeah. figure it out. Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's not as easy, but I, you know, if you can be concise and creative, it's a good place for you okay. to okay. try. Great. Now, what are some of the, you know, outside of the doing the uh, promoted stuff, mm -hmm. um, what are some of the general best practices on Twitter that you can do that can hopefully yield some good results for marketing? Well, there's, you can, like I said, you've only got a short amount of time, space mm -hmm. to, to promote or to tweet. Mm -hmm. um, so you need to be short and concise and you need to offer something that gets, do something that gets, grabs people mm -hmm. to want to click on your, on right. your tweet and go to where you want them to go. Um, one thing that always works, free offers. Mm -hmm. You give free stuff, people show up. So it doesn't have to be anything big. It can be like a, a white paper. Mm -hmm. It could be um, if you order now, you get 10% off. Um, throw in a small product. Let's say buy another part of your product. Um, so anything free that's, you know, I wouldn't give away junk, but give away something that right. people are, people go, oh, I kind of want that. Get okay. their interest. Okay. Um, as I said, intriguing posts, you know, um, uh, some examples are like if you say found cure for lack of motivation, mm -hmm. click here to find out how to, you know, inspire yourself to go to the gym every day. Mm -hmm. uh, something that just makes people go, Ooh, if you can make me do that, then let me see. All right. Um, so, so appeal to whatever it is that they are curious about or, yes. or are interested in. Right. Whatever mm -hmm. you think the, the pain points are of the people that okay. are, would follow your product. Try to make it intriguing and draw them in. Okay. Um, other thing is cliffhangers, which is kind of like an intriguing post. But cliffhangers are kind of like you write something and then dot, 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 you know, it's to you see take, more. You make use of the fact that you have limited characters mm -hmm. in Twitter so that you run out of characters right. before you get to the end of the tweet and then you have the dot 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 meaning they've got to click that yeah, and exactly. find out what the rest of it is so, so making you, use of that yeah yeah that limitation of the character exactly you kind yeah. of make them go but wait i want to know but wait more. there's more after this commercial yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay um other things is um people love how to's mm -hmm. um like i said twitter is more of an informative it, people go there for information on products and services so if you put a how to on there people are, are liable to link um click okay. on it because they're there for that kind of right. information right. um i um one interesting thing I said I found out was that they if you use numbers in tweets mm -hmm. like you know the five best ways to do this or sixty percent of people say this, mm -hmm. um, people like to see those numbers for some reason. We're all like that. We like yeah, seeing numbers wired for top ten lists. Yeah, and statistics like that. Yeah. and top ten lists yeah. and stuff. So that's always a yeah. good thing to use. Um, ask questions too. Mm -hmm. I mean, questions like are sure. exactly. See what I did? Yeah, okay. all I right. saw that. Okay. okay. So yeah, ask quick questions that, you know, brief questions mm -hmm. that get, and ask them to tell you what they think. Okay. Um, that's another great way to use the lack of space that you have there. Okay. Also be funny. Um, people love humor. Everybody likes to laugh. So um, I make- I hate to laugh. You hate to laugh. <laughs> I thought that about you. <laughs> darn, darn, I'm laughing again. I hate that. Right. <laughs> but yeah, just, uh, you can be, um, you can promote your product and service with humor. And people sure. people admire that. They're liable to follow you. There's many, mm -hmm. if you look at it, there's a lot of celebrities and, and brands that are really good at this. And people follow them just to see what they're going to say next. Right. Um, some of them have been pretty controversial. There's um, the singer James Blunt. He, his comebacks on Twitter are, are known and people follow him mm -hmm. for that. Um, there's other brands that do it as well. But it's a great thing because people love to laugh, mm -hmm. except for him. Except for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, also, uh, two other things to do is uh, any current news. You okay. know, if it if you can find a way to link it to your product or service or or something like that. Tie in a current event to a product that you offer or right. a service or things like exactly. that. Exactly. Um, because the, the current event is in everybody's mind at the mm -hmm. time. And when you show, well... This is what's happening, mm -hmm. but our product can help. People are going to want to see the, the answer to that. Right. Okay. And then um, 
my last thing, and then I always include this on every single social media platform, is be creative. Mm -hmm. um, don't be like everybody else. Um, and I say that, you know, there's always, you should, if somebody's doing something that's working, mm -hmm. it's doing really well, it's okay to emulate them, but don't copy them blandly. Right. You know, just take what they're doing and, and do it yourself. Be creative with it. Find out ways that you can do it differently that makes you unique. And that's with any social media product. Um, try to find your spin on, on things. And, and that's how you get people to follow you, people to get intrigued, people to, um, you know, like your brand. Okay. Okay, great. So, so that's our kind of our quick wrap up on yeah. Twitter. Um, this is, again, our fourth installment of our social media series on, on social media. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've already covered Facebook. We've covered LinkedIn. We cover Instagram, Instagram and then now Twitter. So we still got a few more to go. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned next week and we'll have another, another video. Um, but thank you for watching today. If you've got any questions on Twitter or you're, you're trying to do Twitter on your own and you just you need a little bit of help on it, feel free to give us a call. We can help you out or any other social media service that you're, you're working with, give us a call. You can reach us at 1-800-709-3240. Again, I'm Brent Hasecker and this is Veronica Buell. And we're with NetSource Technologies, also at NetSource Inc. INC, NetSource INC.com. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.